guys i don't think i've ever been so excited for a video in my life hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here hi hello my name is carter and i would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below join our little family but today's video as you guys can tell by the title is super exciting it's been something i've wanted to film ever since i got my iPad in December and I'm so excited to finally be getting around to this video because I just have so many exciting things to tell you guys about going paperless and my journey with that in undergrad and yeah so basically like I said today's video is just gonna be all about going paperless my journey my favorite apps for not taking on my iPad and kind of just like my big guide to using an iPad instead of paper in undergrad or any level of education I guess but with that being said, let's just jump into the video. I guess I'll give you guys a bit of a background. I bought myself an iPad on Boxing Day this year at Best Buy. They were on a pretty good sale. I, you know, kudos to Brooklyn because I literally made her go to every Best Buy and every store that carried iPads in Ottawa to find me one. And she came along and yeah, so um, that was fun. We finally got one. I ended up buying the iPad 9.7 I don't have an iPad Pro I just didn't really need it it didn't seem necessary to me plus there is a huge difference in price in terms of iPads um this one was a lot cheaper um so I got the 9.7 I got the 128 gig because I love having my textbooks on here um and I didn't want to run out of room so this is what it looks like I just got my case from Amazon it's just a rose gold case my background is just you know you got to have a motivational quote on there i want to see how i actually take notes but this is more going to be more of like an overview video just talking about a few of my favorite apps and not going super into detail about the note taking process but if you guys want that leave me a comment down below i would love to film that for you guys um so yeah i don't have a ton of apps i keep it honestly pretty simple and plain um but i love it absolutely love it i don't know how i loved without it before it has changed the game for me i am someone who just did not like to do readings before not that i love them now but it makes it so much easier to just have it on my ipad and i love it so much guys it has seriously changed the game for me um and i use it for everything like i just i feel like i'm so much better of a student now that i have it like it's honestly changed the game so much so i figured really really quick like i said i have the 9.7 i also do have the apple pencil um expensive but it was worth it for me no other stylus really is as compatible as the apple pencil is so it's definitely worth the splurge um but yeah i don't really know what to get into first i guess um, the main things I use it for are readings, PowerPoints, um, taking notes during a lecture, and a lot of note taking. I'm a very visual person, so having an iPad is great for me because I'm someone who when I study, I just like write things out over and over again, and I was wasting so much paper and it broke my heart. So this was definitely a great investment because you have like literally unlimited pages on whatever note taking app you decide to use. And like I said, change the game, especially for someone like me who is in more of like a um health science related field obviously it's great for anyone in any field but especially for me with like anatomies and stuff like that where I need to draw a lot of diagrams super helpful so I figured really quick we would talk about some of my favorite apps that I use and then I'll kind of go more into detail about going paperless and yada 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 so the first app I wanted to talk to you guys about called PDF element they are actually sponsoring today's video so shout out to you guys for sponsoring today's video thank you so much they are super awesome I was actually using their app way before they even reached out to me and wanted to do a video with me um, and they are awesome so a lot of my classes are in PowerPoint forms and with the note-taking apps that you use for the most part they need to be in PDFs um, and I'm someone who likes to group things there we go I'm someone who likes to group things together so when I'm studying I like to have all my lectures together or all my readings together that I need to study all in one place so it's convenient to study and I can just go through stuff um and pdf element does that for me which is awesome it is just such a great website program app the great thing about it is it's offered on windows mac android and ios which is awesome so I actually I actually um I have it on my computer as well as the app which I'll show you guys after for a business or personal use I personally obviously use it for like personal educational use and I think it is so great and I want to reach out with and tell you guys a bit about it 
an app or like a program like this is so essential if you have an iPad guys I can't even stress it enough how essential it is to have some sort of PDF editor app um, affordable there are other options like PDF expert but I find PDF element is the best one um, it's affordable it's great for personal users their customer service is amazing I've had to reach out to them and they were so quick and so fast and awesome basically it can do so many things it can edit PDFs it can make PDFs it can convert PDFs it can convert PDFs into PowerPoints into Word into so many things I think it's super great to use for me as well with like contracts with YouTube and stuff that I have to sign and do things with super easy super convenient I like the interface is super simple it's a very minimalistic program love that we're all into the minimalist minimalism um, it's a good choice for light duty PDF users I find as well um, someone like me who's not very techno I'm technologically savvy but not in terms of like PDF world you know what I mean like kind of scares me it makes it super simple super easy to use um, it's quick it's awesome I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do it but basically I use it for combining um, PowerPoint presentations as well as combining a ton of readings like my a lot of my philosophical classes you guys know I'm taking a philosophical issues in healthcare class um, that class I have to basically the midterm is I need to study like four or five readings and I find it really annoying when I have to click on each single one and read it so I just combine all those pdfs together make one big one study bam you're done same thing with anatomy when I'm studying like three or four different powerpoint presentations I find it super annoying to have to like exit and go into a new one so I just put them all together in the app super convenient super easy they have this like little user guide that comes with it so you can scroll through that i'm gonna put in some clips here of me using it so you guys can get to see how to use it as vlog carter coming at you guys i figured this would be the best way to show you guys kind of basically the primary ways i use pdf element um, all right guys so this is what the program looks like when you open on the computer like i said you can edit create pdfs convert pdfs or combine and right now i'm going to show you guys how i combine pdfs which is awesome especially when i'm studying for like anatomy and i really need to study three or four lectures and I don't want to keep opening them so you basically like I said just click the files combine it look how quick it is I can't even get over how quick and easy this website is to use and bam there you have it this giant 124 slide powerpoint makes it so much easier to study I find when everything's in one place next I'll be showing you guys how I convert pdfs when I am on my ipad I prefer things in pdf when I'm on my computer I prefer things in powerpoint so here's a pdf you just hit convert powerpoint bam done literally so easy guys and like I said when I'm on my computer I prefer in powerpoint so I can take notes when I'm typing um, but if it's on my ipad I prefer in a pdf and then look it opens it up in a nice pdf for you guys and literally so Personally simple like powerpoints because I can um open it on my google docs and I can add notes to it um so sometimes when I'm in class and I have my laptop I prefer to do that so literally you guys saw how quick it is it is so awesome and easy and convenient guys I highly recommend if you have a lap if you have an iPad even if you don't honestly um with my computer this is so convenient um just to switch stuff over really quick from PowerPoint to PDF combine PDFs so quick obviously I do it on my laptop but it's for the benefit of my ipad which and thank you so much pdf element for sponsoring today's video i will leave I, they left me a discount code so i'll leave that down below for you guys i'll leave all the links down below for you guys to check out seriously totally recommend very very important to have some kind of pdf editor pdf program for you if you choose to go paperless and get an ipad very important next is a good note-taking app um, there's a huge debate over Notability and GoodNotes. I personally liked Notability a bit more. Basically, I watched a ton of YouTube videos on the two. Um, ended up choosing Notability and I love it so, so much. Basically, I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like really quick. So this is what Notability looks like. You just have like these little categories on the side. Obviously, some I use it for a bit more. Philosophy class, I do a ton of readings on here. Like I said, I combine them all with PDF Element. Makes it super easy. Um, my anatomy class I write down all of my notes if you guys like I said want to see a video of me taking notes let me know so many options guys you can pick like grid paper lined paper plain paper it's great it's easy I use it for diagrams because you can literally just erase things and like redo them over and over again I also actually upload real like typed notes on here and then make like additional notes I find that super helpful as well if you're someone like me who's a very visual learner it has changed the freaking game for me guys I feel like I'm such a better student now and I actually kind of like look forward to doing readings which I never did before um 
but yeah some classes I have I can't bring a laptop which I guess I shouldn't really bring a, a tablet either but I do um I use it you guys have seen this in my week of my life or my weekend in my life I use it for a checklist when I'm writing papers and assignments literally has changed the game like I said if you guys do want a video of me going in depth about how I write notes I would love to do that but um I was kind of hesitant at first I was like this is gonna be so weird but it was so easy, so effortless, so natural to write on there. It takes like a few minutes of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's amazing. It's awesome. The great thing about it is like I just have it with me wherever I go. I bring it to work. I bring it to school. I bring it with me when I'm going to do an oil change. And so instead of sitting there for an hour and it's like bulky to bring around your laptop, I just bring my iPad and I do readings on here. Seriously. I can't even express how much it is like actually changed the game, guys. Um... I do a lot of YouTube stuff on here too, which is super nice. You, I do have my YouTube app on here because when I travel, I like to download videos because I have YouTube premium, I download videos. I have like my school um, website, right space on here so I can access classes and stuff. Quizlet, oh, I'm a huge fan of Quizlet. We love Quizlet so much. If you guys didn't know, Quizlet is basically just, I'll give you guys an example. Quizlet is amazing. You can like do flashcards, <clears throat> like little multiple choice quizzes and stuff with what they give you. It's seriously amazing. I love Quizlet. I've been using Quizlet since first year. Obviously, I have my Google Drive. Um, my notes save automatically to my Google Drive, but this is just where I go when I need to like access a file or something. Um, and Notability is super easy, guys, to like upload stuff. You literally just upload from any kind of box you have i have google drive and it is so easy to import stuff guys so easy I have the kindle app it basically just like so put textbooks on there because some textbooks i get through kindle some i get through like the apple book app whatever you call it i've got bookshelf i've got yeah so i keep it pretty basic this is like my core group of apps if you guys like i don't know want to take a screenshot or something those are the apps I use. But yeah, basically, all in all, all I really need is a good PDF editor and a note-taking app and somewhere you keep your textbooks. That's it. Super easy, super basic. Um, I've convinced, like, some of my friends to get iPads and stuff, too, which is really, really cool. And it helps, too, that I'm making such a big impact on the environment you know i think it's super important to do so i got a few questions about how the transition was i didn't find it hard at all it's like obviously kind of weird at first because you're writing on a tablet it really wasn't that big of a transition for me if anything like i said it's so much easier because i get so much more done now guys like doing readings before was so annoying because i would like have to have it open and i just have to like take notes and read it and i couldn't really highlight online or i'd have to print them out waste paper and highlight this is like the best of both worlds you can split screen in Notability, which is great because you can literally take notes as you're reading lectures or as you're doing readings, which is awesome. Um, what else? Yeah. I love making, especially for anatomy, I love making big giant documents or like I guess big PDFs of like diagrams and stuff, which is super, super helpful for me. I love it. I just can't say enough good things about it. I think if money was not a problem, I think everyone should invest in it because one, we're saving trees, we're saving the environment, and two, I feel like it would just make everyone a bit more productive. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you guys want me to go a bit more in depth about like my note taking process, I would love to do that for you guys. So let me know down below if you guys want to see that. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. See you guys in my next one. Bye.